guys it's Amanda and welcome back to my channel so today I have this look for you guys this is my go-to glam look so basically whenever I have an event or a date night or whatever it may be um, if I want to look good look flawless I normally just stick to this particular eye look so it's basically just your typical like brown smoky eye with highlighted inner corners and some glitter on the lid of course some wing liner full of lashes and lots and lots of glow and of course some nude lips if you're new to my channel don't forget to subscribe and also don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like these type of videos and just comment down below so we can chit chat i can say hi to you guys and let's get into the tutorial Hey guys, so first and foremost, um, yes, I am wearing a shirt. It's just off the shoulder. So for those of you guys who like to wonder, yes, I am wearing a shirt. Okay, guys. And then next, um, I'm actually filming on a different camera today. It's the Rebel T6i. Let me know if you guys like the quality of this video better than my usual one. Um... I'm just playing around, testing it out. This is actually my uncle's camera. I just wanna, you know, test it out and see the quality and all that good stuff. I zoomed you guys in a little bit closer just so that way you can see what's going on with my eyeballs. All right, so as always, I'm gonna be priming my eyes with the Soft Ochre Paint Pot. And to apply it, I'm gonna be using the Zoeva 142 Concealer Buffer Brush. I'm going into my Z palette. This is like my go-to, my love, my baby palette. Um, it has all Makeup Geek eyeshadows. But first, I'm gonna be taking Beaches and Cream right here, and I'm just gonna be setting my whole entire eye lid with that. All right, so first I'm gonna be taking the color Chickadee right here, and I'm just gonna pop this onto the crease. All right, and then next I'm going into the color Early Bird right here, and I'm gonna be using my Morphe R34 brush, and I'm gonna apply this right onto the crease, just a little lower than that Chickadee color. So I'm going into the color Frappe right here, and pop that also onto the crease. We just want a lot of dimension in the crease, and that's why I'm just layering a bunch of colors. We're gonna be taking this color right here, which is Cocoa Bear. And I'm just gonna focus this color kind of on the socket of my eye. What I meant by the socket is where your eye kind of folds. You can kind of feel right there. So you just wanna focus the color right there. Like so. Mixing these two colors right here. I'm gonna focus those colors right into the socket once again. And I'm gonna take this Stila Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow. And I'm only doing the tapping motion because it works best that way. So I like to use the Dr. Brand's Pores No More on like my T-zone area and then around right here uh, where I just have a lot of like big pores and then I like to use this one which is the LA Girl Pro Prep HD Smoothing Primer like everywhere else. And I like to actually massage this in to my pores. And then I'm gonna be using the LA Girl Primer and I like to kind of pat this in to the skin and then for foundation if I just want to look bomb AF I love 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 my Urban Decay All Nighter foundation I'm in the shade 6.0 now for concealer I normally would use my Urban Decay Naked Skin concealer but um, I actually just picked up the Tarte Shape Tape and everyone's been raving about this so I want to try this out. So I'm just going to be taking this one. Ooh. Oh my gosh. I might have put too much. It feels super like full coverage. Now I'm going to mix in the light yellow corrector. Um, this is the Pro Conceal Concealer by LA Girl just to give that yellow tone back in and it's not gonna be like stark white on my face, you know? Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, this is super duper like full, 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 full coverage. Ooh. 
Yeah, I definitely put way too much for my own good. Wow. This concealer is like the definition of full coverage. And then to set it before it creases, I'm gonna be using my LA Girl Pro Face um, HD Press Powder. This one is in Creamy Natural. I would go lighter actually because um, yeah, this is definitely too dark for the, the little concealer, but it's okay. So I'm just gonna set it with my beauty blender. I'm literally just digging into the powder and I'm just setting it. To bronze the face, I'm gonna be using my Too Faced Dark Chocolate Esole Bronzer. My go-to blush is this Peaches Blush by MAC. Oh, it's just a really nice like peachy color and I just love that. Just gonna put that on the apples and bring it back. For highlight, which is my favorite part, I like to use my Inglot Sparkling Dust number two first. And I'm just gonna put that on the highest point of my face just like so put a little bit on the ooh, that's a lot a little bit on the nose this look would not be complete without my Jeffree Star Skin Frost in King Tut this is like my ride or die like I love this thing so much then I'm just gonna do the same thing just put that right over top Moving back to the eyes, I'm gonna go ahead and take my NYX Liquid Black Eyeliner and I'm gonna wing out my liner pretty dramatically actually. As you can see, the wings are up there, it's out there, it's trying to party, it's just... Lashes? No lashes. Lashes? No lashes. <laughs> For the lower lash line, I'm just going to be using um, this Rebel color and this one right here. And I'm just going to be adding a little bit of this dark brown right here. And for my inner corner, I'm going to be taking Makeup Geek Shimmer Shimmer right over here. Boom. Do you guys see that? For the lips, um, I'm going to line them with my CoverGirl Lip liner in 205 smoke yeah in 205 smoky intense. I'm also gonna fill in my lips with the same lip liner. Then to top it off, I'm gonna be using the new dose of colors supernatural lipstick or liquid lipstick. This color is literally so freaking pretty. Once I'm done with my makeup, this is the time I like to unbraid my hair you guys see what kind of like pretty like waves that it gives all right guys so this is the completed look i hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial again don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up i love you guys all so much and i'll see you guys in my next video bye loves Come on, boys, 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 boys,